In today's world, we are surrounded by technology. From our cars to our homes, from our work to our phones, tech and AI is integrated into our lives. Lemonade sipping, I was in class trying to get my wishes. Dirt on my plate, so I had to clean dishes. Do that, I'ma do this, I just had that feeling. You ain't gon' live like me. These heights be too frightening. They opinion be too trifling. Don't like love, only do the flings. I think this my niche. Play my role, what you hold, no boy, best on reach. Your shit dirt, you get curved, I just saw and reap. With that ease, hella clean, rips all on your hands That's that work, when you hurt, my head full of steam Why do I lose the In a world surrounded by AI, are we really considering the true threat that this ever-evolving tech poses? So what is AI? Computer scientists have managed to identify three different distinguishable strands of the technology. Firstly, ANI, or Artificial Narrow Intelligence. ANI is a technology that can effectively and efficiently complete one task, but that's it. It will self-improve, but only a small amount, and it is limited to its small field of expertise. ANI generally relies on human interventions, whether that be updates and patches, to continue existing. An example of ANI is Google Assistant or Siri. The next step up is AGI, a technology that is equal to humans in intellectual capability. There are a variety of tests that a computer must complete prior to being considered AGI. One of the significant differences between AGI and the human brain is that the artificial intelligence is capable of rewiring its artificial neurons. AGI can self-improve far more than a human ever could, and that leads on to the next form of AI, ASI. Artificial superintelligence is technology which surpasses human intellect in all aspects. As soon as AGI exists unregulated, we can expect ASI because AGI can continually reconstruct itself. This could lead to really dire consequences and happen in the span of only a few hours. So where's the issue? Humanity might be capable of creating superintelligence in the next few decades. That sounds highly beneficial. The technology could solve lots of big real world issues without being impaired by bias or opinion. Elon Musk, who I'm sure we can all agree is at the forefront of this evolving technology, is extremely cautious when thinking about AI in the future. If, if, there's, if there's a super intelligent, particularly if it's engaged in recursive self-improvement, if there's some digital super, super intelligence um, and it's optimization or utility function um, is something that's detrimental to humanity, then it will have a very bad effect, like getting rid of spam email or something. And it's like, it concludes, well, the best way to get rid of spam is to get rid of humans. AI will do exactly what it sees fit to fulfill its purpose, which is exactly what makes it so terrifyingly dangerous. Self-preservation as well as optimization for efficiency could see the downfall of humanity. But what does the general public actually think of AI? I've interviewed a few people to see if I can work this out. In my opinion, AI is kind of just the process of robots and computer programs being able to replace the jobs of humans. So AI is artificial intelligence and it's basically a software that is created to complete a task or problem solve a task without the assistance of um, a controller or someone. Artificial intelligence I think is probably best described as trying to mimic what the human brain does, replicating the human brain at a level that we cannot even comprehend at the moment. I don't completely see it as a threat because often it'll just help humans and speed up processes that they'd usually have to do. It could also be a threat and an invasion of privacy in certain aspects. Depending on what job or what thing you do, um, AI is definitely going to be a threat, especially when it takes over all the tedious jobs that don't require creative, intensive work. AI has great potential, but also great risk. When artificial intelligence becomes smarter than us, when the genie is out of the bottle, uh, that's when artificial intelligence might be used for bad or for evil and not for good. We could be talking about artificial intelligence wiping us out as a species entirely. I think it can be a threat, but it depends how it's used and treated and how it's developed. I think it will help society overall as it does a lot of jobs and tasks for us that make life so much easier. Yeah, definitely. It'll help people do things much faster and more easily. I worked on a program, a science program called Beyond 2000 in the 1980s and in the early 90s as well. When artificial intelligence was really a, a concept, we thought, wow, that's a that's, that's hundred years away. But in my lifetime, these smartphones have come along. Smartphones are way smarter already than the most expensive, the most exquisite computer that we could have imagined back in 1988. But in the 1980s and in the 1990s, 
we were thinking more about these concepts than we are these days. And I think it's quite dangerous that we've taken our eye off the ball. It'll make things quicker, more efficient. It'll make things more objective. Within the next 50 years, um, definitely medical, diagnosing illnesses. In all probability, in the next, say, 30 to 50 years, uh, most cancers will be curable. We will be able to have a computer come up with a cure for our cancer. Security checking and things like that. Financial areas such as accounting or trading, uh, bookkeeping. Maybe in the future. I hope it doesn't do anything evil, but it could possibly. Bugs in programs and things like that can always cause things to go wrong. And especially if AI have more ability than humans in certain areas, that could be pretty bad. You see a lot of um, AIs in movies and stuff trying to take over the world and fix all the the negative things, but those things can never be fixed. That's That in itself is inevitable. But I think if we found a way of um, limiting the AI and not giving it full capability of the whole internet and basically just everything, then we might be able to regulate it and just use it to its maximum potential. We, we have this idea of this utopian society one day where artificial intelligence and the human brain are kind of merged in this perfect in this perfect mix. In our sort of Hollywood fears, we have these robots sort of rising up to, you know, form drones or build drones overnight and go out and kill all humans on the planet. We can't begin to sort of grasp what artificial super intelligence might look like and when it might be with us. One day, we, we just might wake up and find out that the machines are much smarter than us and that is something that we don't or won't have the capability to sort of put into reverse. When I go online and look at a, a YouTube interview with Elon Musk that's had 2 million or 3 million views, I sort of think to myself, you know what? Everyone on the planet should be learning about this stuff. I think it should be regulated fairly strictly, but not too strictly that it undermines the purpose of AI. If a driverless car hits a pedestrian on a street, it has no sympathy for that person that it's just killed. The, the very term artificial intelligence throws up all these incredibly interesting topics, not just looking at the science, but looking at the moral aspect and the ethical aspects of this as well. I think AI should be very strictly regulated just to prevent anything from happening like security breaches, privacy breaches and things like that. So does artificial intelligence uh, need to be regulated? Yes, it does. But that, that is uh, a, a debate that, and, a, and a discussion that will be ongoing for, for many, many decades to come. When the machines become potentially much more smart than us, uh, then that's the point that I come back to. How do we control artificial intelligence? Definitely in the future will need to be heavily restricted because it can do a lot of damage to a lot of different things. It's impossible to control and predict ASI. To quote a popular YouTube creator, let me know. It would be like us being a colony of ants trying to control just one human. The human wouldn't hurt us out of hate, but as soon as we get in the way, it would see us as insignificant. Let's take a look at a practical example of AI. This animation was developed by the team at DeepMind AI. The artificial intelligence within this simulation was instructed and incentivized to go from point A to point B. It was given sensory information about its obstacles, but that's it. This machine taught itself to walk. Through immense amounts of trial and error, it was able to devise the most efficient way of traveling in its simulated environment. To be clear, this AI was never shown how walking works. It developed similarly to the way that the baby's brain develops. If we were to give an internet connection to a machine like this and some sort of goal, who knows what could happen? The DeepMind AI project has learned to beat many professionals at complex games such as StarCraft in real time. The team put together two bots that fought against each other continuously to develop skill. At the end of it, they fought a seasoned professional, and they came out on top. It's my view that everyone should know as much as they can about AI. Thank you for taking the time to educate yourself about what the future has in store for us. This has been Dan for Project Orange. Thanks for watching.